What's up with YouTube, Legit Sully? Back at you with another video. And it's winding down to the end of the year, man. We winding on down. It is the end of the year. This year has been pretty great. I had a lot of dope pickups this year. And I didn't quite hit my goal of a thousand subscribers. But I'm halfway there. Uh, well, I'm almost halfway there. I'm trying to hit 500 before the end of the year. You know, we got like a couple more days of the year. I need like, like 10, 15 more subscribers. So, man, if you're clicking on this video and you're watching this video and you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Appreciate all my other subscribers um, that's already subscribed. And, you know, I'm trying to get to this 500 before the end of the year and then we can start working on hitting that 1k but uh, with that being said you know if you're new to the channel go ahead hit that subscribe button and since she done came on in here go ahead and hit that like button as well so we can get started with today's video now this pickup today you know I've been trying to get this video out for so long I picked this shoe up on release day from a store here uh, in Washington and in Seattle, they had um, a, a release of this shoe, and it was pretty crazy because this was the only store that got the shoe. And I had the shoe. I did a video, and after one, uh, once I was editing the video, you know, I didn't really like the the audio of the video, so I, I had to redo it. Things like that happen, you know, from time to time. You'll be editing, you'll shoot a whole video. Uh, and then you get to edit in the video and you find out some things are not how you want them to be so you gotta pretty much either just either just submit the video and put out the video you know with uh with the deficiencies or you just scratch the video and redo it and therefore I am I decided to scratch the video I just been busy and hadn't been able to put the video up so without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into the shoe. Ah, yeah, here we go, right here, man. You got this shimmery, shiny box, and here you go. Um, this box is unique. You know, just like the other off-white orange box with the holes in it. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. This right here reads Nike Dunk Low L T H R slash off-white. The L T H R stands for leather. Colorway of this one is white, pine green, pine green. Size 11 and a half, size 13 women's. And these did retail for 170 bucks. So as you look uh, closely on the label, you can see the RFID chip in the background. You can see the imprint of the label, you know. Nike has been doing that on all their shoes. So if, you, if your pair doesn't come with a... RFID chip, um, you know, printed on the back, you know, you might want to do like some further investigation of the shoe. You know, you got your swoosh um, uh, on the top of the box, and like I said, around you got your little holes, like you got your Swiss cheese holes, you know, and you can kind of see what, what shoe it is already. And let's go ahead and jump straight into the shoe. Opening the box, you know, you can see there is uh, right here. You got the quality control stamp, and then you got your quality control sticker right here. And it says 10, 12, 19 is when they, when these went through um, quality control. So that's way back in October, and you know we got the release in December. And you got this yellow paper. It says um off 2020. It says off white Y 2013. You know this is, you got the yellow paper here. You know, I think I think they should have came. It should have came in like the Nike Dunk box. That's my opinion. You know, because the back when they did the, the the TN series, you know, those shoes was coming out like the box was inverted with one of the uh, with the original shoe box. You know, the Jordans. You know, had the Jordan One box and the the, the you know what the Nikes had the Nike box and on the inside. You know, it was like whichever Nike box it was. I think they should have did that with these and made like the inside of the box, you know, the the like the blue and, and black with an SB box. That, that would have been pretty dope on these. 
So let's go ahead and jump straight into the review of the shoes. You know, let's get these shoes out the box. Voila, here we go. The Nike Off-White Dunk in your pine green colorway. Now, let's go ahead and get straight into the review. You know, I'm going to do a thorough detailed review of these. So that way, you know, if you're picking up these and you want to check out your shoes, this would be a good reference for you to be able to, to um, check out your shoes. So let's go ahead and get started with the review. Ah, yeah, here we go. Y'all know how we're going to do it. Here we go. The at the um the also you got your regular dunk also now this also you know pretty much be on your air force ones your jordan ones you know i'm not real sure if they have the same exact like um print at the bottom but it looks it looks pretty similar you know you got your your pine green also with your, your nike on um, swoosh right here and let's Let's go ahead and get further into the review. On your midsole, you know you got your right, your white wrapped around the midsole, and up on um, moving along to the leather, you know you got your your green, your pine green leather uh, around the toe cap, and then uh, it also on the on the medial side here you have your off white um, um, writing with your Nike Dunk. Beavis in Oregon, um, 1985, which is, was uh, the year the, the, the Dunk released. Uh, moving along, it, it has a lot going on with this shoe. You got your pine green um, swoosh. You got your pine green um, color blocking right here around the heel. And then you have your, your white stitching around here. And you, you got your white Nike on the back of the heel tab. And here you got your, 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 your green, you know, I mean not green. You got your orange little flap right here which was on you know your the Jordans and the the and the um the Air Maxes and uh, uh, you know some of the the earlier off whites that we seen and and uh, it's 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 kind of like it's kind of flimsy you know it's not too hard it's not hard underneath it it's like it almost looks like uh like some kind of translucent material at the back of it you know and keep going you know let's go ahead and get into the to the top of the shoe you got your white toe box and you know you got your your um, green laces the shoe come laced up you know um, both shoes are laced up I didn't I didn't lace the shoe up they came laced up just like this you know you got your your um your made in China tag it's on the on the on the left shoe. It's it's, on, it's hanging on the right side, and on your right shoe, it's hanging on the the left the left side. So we'll get to the right shoe um, um, later. You know, uh, moving along, you you got your your pine green laces, and then your laces has shoe laces, and looking at the 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 print. Of the shoelaces, you know, you got it says shoelaces with the parentheses and the, the letters. You know, it's not it's not real sloppy. So if you if you see your lettering and your lettering is like kind of messed up or it's not, you know, let, let me get just to focus right here on the on the shoestrings. And if if your letters look kind of messy, you know. I would, you know, and if they're like, if it's, they don't have any or receipt or anything like that, I would second guess the pair. And then also your 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 second laces, you know, it got a it got a second little lacing system on here, um, right around here. These are some some infrared laces. The color, a lot of people think these laces was orange, but these are not orange. They're they're got they got an infrared colorway, and these at first I, I thought these was was like some aglet like tips on it but it looked like it was just dipped in some kind of hard some kind of hard paint it looked like the shoestrings was just dipped in some kind of maybe the aglet is at the tip right here 
But it's like it's like they dipped it all the way to to to, to this point right here in the pine green, like some kind of pine green paint. And then if you look at the the um, infrared laces, it has the shoelaces um, on the road out as well. And and um inside your shoe, you know, there's no normal shoe tree. All you have is some shoe paper. It's like look rolled up, look 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 hot dog bun on style shoe paper. And moving along to the tongue, you know you got your you got your distressed tongue. And uh, here you got Nike with the swoosh, and the swoosh is uh, neon orange, and Nike is in it's in navy blue. The Nike is in navy blue. The Nike is in navy blue, and then you got the the R for your registered for your trademark on um, Nike logo right here. And moving along to the zip tie, you know the zip tie is on um, one of the the key factors in determining you know the you know determining you know if a shoe is real or fake or not. You know you you can you can tell a lot most of the time by the zip tie. So. Looking at this zip tie, this zip tie here, it says off white. Let that focus. Focus on the zip tie. Off white C O Nike C 2017 zip tie. So it, it has that glossy look to it, like some of the other off white um zip ties, like in your earlier um, off white releases. And this this here you know it's it's not a it's not a matte it's not a matte finish it has like a glossy finish and then i'm not really sure if they i'm not really sure if when they when they close the off the tag up they always put it on the same the same notch but you know for for your references you know just take a look at that it's it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten notches visible. So, if you want to use this as a as a method to you know legit check your shoes, um, go ahead, go right ahead and do that. But I'm not 100% sure if they put it on the same mark each one. You know, if you got a pair, uh, check yours and see if yours is on the. If you have ten little ten little um triangles showing, you know, if so then that means, you know, they try to keep it in the same spot. But, yeah, that, that's the, um, um, and then moving to the inside of the shoe, you got your, your insole. The insole of the shoe is just like this, you know. You should have the shoe size black, um, right here on the side, which it says 11, 11.5, and... Also, you have um, the, the the same information that's on your um, the shoebox paper is on your insole, and the insole it has some kind of some kind of like fabric, some kind of fabric on the inside, and it and it, it appeared to be a stamp. It appeared to be a stamp in on um, that was inside the shoe. I think it was like letters or something, but it. Looked like it got smeared away, letters or numbers. I'm not 100% sure what it said. I just see some little marks like it looks like it was some writing. Your uh, extra string that's inside the shoe, it's um, it's, it's taped down. Uh, if you, you can see this, like you see the strings, the extra string inside the shoe right there, it's taped down by looking like a piece of masking tape. And looking around at, at all the laces wrapped around the, the shoe, Everything is real neat. So if you want to pull the insole out and, and, and double double check that, like let's see if we can get get zoomed in inside there so you can see. Y'all see that? It's kind of hard to focus on. It's hard to focus. It's used to focusing on my face, so it's hard to focus. Yeah, you see that? You see the stitching in there? The stitching is real neat. 
And it's like that all the way around. It's like that all the way around. So it's real neat all the way around. So if you get a pair and the stitching is jacked up on the inside, inside, you know, that's a clear uh, sign and a clear red flag that, that, that you got a potential fake pair. And then, and, and then like also you can, you can pretty much tell um, by the, the production dates now. On my pair, this, um, all production now, keep in mind, all production dates are, can be different, you know. Just because my production on date pair says one thing doesn't mean that every single pair gonna have the same production date. But you can pretty much, uh, if it's like a day or, or a couple days, you know, um, within these dates, then you should be okay. But if it's like a month or two months off, you know, uh, I would, I would, you know, I would kind of be skeptical. So production date here says May 17th, 2019 to September 16th, 2019. So anything way before May, anything way after September, then I would, I would be skeptical. And also pay attention to your box. Whatever the um the, the the quality control stamp date says on your box, is if it's before the shoe, if it's before the production date of the shoe, man, that's a that's an immediate red flag. You know, I would tell whoever's trying to sell that shoe to yeah, man, look, tell them you good, tell them you ain't trying to do business with them because obviously they trying to pull a fast one on you. So the the. The right shoe is pretty much the exact same. Only difference on the right shoe is that, like I mentioned before, this made in China tag is, is hanging on the left side when this one is, is hanging on the right side. So were you able to cop these on sneakers, you know? Did you hit, you know, the drawing? And did you, do you even like these, you know? Is this height or is this heat? You know, I think these are heat. I ain't going to lie. I think these are heat. Yeah, man. What you think, man? You think these are dope? You think these are hype or heat? You know, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a, a quick little close-up of the shoe. And then we'll end the video off. Yeah, but anyway, man, that's the off-white dunk, um, pine green colorway. It, uh, like I said, uh, is it hype or is it heat for you? Do you like them? You know, if you do, put it in the comments below. Let me know if it's hype or if it's heat. But for me personally, I say it's heat. And if you hadn't already hit that subscribe button, help me hit that 500 subs before the end of the year. And until next time, it's Legit Sully. I'm out of here.